The Temple Mount is a hill in the old city of Jerusalem that has been revered as a holy site in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam for thousands of years. It is also known as Al Aram Al Sharf, the Noble Sanctuary, Al Aqsa Mosque Compound, or simply the Farthest Mosque, and at times as Jerusalem's sacred or holy esplanade. The Western Wall, which was originally constructed by King Herod in the 1st century BCE for an expansion of the Second Jewish Temple, is located at the current location, which is a flat plaza encircled by retaining walls. The main prayer hall of the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock, near the center of the hill, which was finished in 692 CE and is one of the oldest remaining Islamic structures in the world, are the two monumental structures that once stood in the plaza and were constructed during the Rashidun and early Umayyad caliphates following the city's capture in 661 CE. It is located where former Jewish temples are typically thought to have formerly stood. The site is surrounded by Herodian gates and walls with extensions from the late Byzantine, early Muslim, Mamluk, and Ottoman periods. There are 11 gates, 10 of which are for Muslims and one for non-Muslims, and each has an Israel police guard post nearby. Four minarets and two porticos from the Mamluk era encircle the courtyard on its north and western sides. The most sacred place in Judaism is the Temple Mount. Jewish tradition and scripture claim that the first temple was constructed in 957 BCE by King Solomon, the son of King David, and destroyed in 586 BCE by the Neo-Babylonian Empire. No archaeological evidence has been discovered to support this since there have never been any scientific excavations on the property. Zerubbabel oversaw the construction of the second temple in 516 BCE, King Herod rebuilt it, and the Roman Empire destroyed it in 70 CE. According to Orthodox Jewish tradition, when the Messiah arrives, this is where the third and last temple will be erected. Jews face the Temple Mount when they bow during prayer. Jewish perspectives on visiting the site vary. Due to the Mount's high sacredness, many Jews will not enter the area where the Holy of Holies formerly existed accidentally because, according to rabbinical law, there is still a remnant of the Holy Presence there. The Al-Aqsa Mosque, the second oldest mosque in Islam and one of the three sacred mosques, is revered as the Noble Sanctuary or simply the Al-Aqsa Mosque among Muslims. It is also regarded as one of the most sacred places in Islam. The Courtyard San is one of the biggest mosques in the world and can accommodate more than 400,000 worshippers. It ranked as the third holiest location in Islam for both Sunni and Shia Muslims. The plaza contains the site that Muslims believe to be the first Qibla, or direction in which to face when praying, and is thought by Muslims to be where the Islamic Prophet Muhammad ascension to heaven. Muslims connect the location with Solomon and other prophets who are likewise revered in Islam, much as Jews do. For Palestinians, especially non-Muslim Palestinians, the location and the name Al-Aqsa in reference to the entire plaza serve as important markers of their identity. The site has been overseen by the Muslim population of Jerusalem through the Jerusalem Islamic Waqf since the Crusades were started by the Latin Church in the 11th to 13th centuries. The location, along with all of East Jerusalem, which includes the Old City, was under Jordanian administration from 1948 until 1967. Israel has occupied the area since the 1967 Six-Day War. Shortly after taking possession of the location, Israel retained Israeli security oversight while turning over WACF management to the Jordanian Hashemite monarchy. The Israeli government strictly prohibits non-Muslims from praying as part of the status quo arrangement. The location continues to be a key flashpoint in the Arab-Israeli conflict. In the context of the continuing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the name of the place is in question, especially amongst Jews and Muslims. While some Jewish commentators and scholars try to downplay the significance of the site in Islam, certain Arab Muslim commentators and scholars attempt to deny Jewish connection to the Temple Mount. In a 2016 disagreement over the site's name, Irina Bakova, the Director General of UNESCO, said, the same places are frequently used for worship by many peoples under various names. 
It is crucial to acknowledge, respect, and use these names. The Hebrew abbreviation Har Habet, which is often translated as Temple Mount in English, first appears in the books of Micah 4 1 and Jeremiah 26 18, where it is translated literally as Mount of the House, a literary variation of the longer phrase Mountain of the House of the Lord. Neither the later books of the Hebrew Bible nor the New Testament make further use of the term. However, Mount Zion, which today refers to the eastern hill of ancient Jerusalem, was more frequently used during the Second Temple period. The Book of Maccabees uses both phrases. The Mishnah and later Talmudic literature frequently refer to Har Habe. Scholars disagree on the precise date at which the idea of the mount as a geographic entity distinct from the temple or the city itself first emerged. Eliav claims that it took place in the 1st century CE, following the fall of the Second Temple. Schatzman came to a different conclusion than Shahar. The mountain is already mentioned as a separate entity in the books of Chronicles, which were edited toward the end of the Persian era. Solomon's temple was built on Mount Moriah according to 2 Chronicles 3 1, and Manasseh's atonement for his crimes is connected to the mountain of the house of the Lord 33 15. Psalms frequently refer to the temple as being built on a holy mountain with unique characteristics, with the surrounding landscape being seen as an intrinsic component of the temple itself. The Jerusalem Islamic Waqf, a branch of the Jordanian government, which is in charge of maintaining the site, has claimed that the phrase the Temple Mount is a newly created Judaization term and a strange and alien appellation. The Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLO, urged media not to refer to the location as the Temple Mount in a news release that was released in 2014. In 2017, it was claimed that WACF officials had persecuted visitors to the site who used the phrase, including tour operators and archaeologists like Gabriel Barkey. Jan Turek and John Carmen claimed that the name Temple Mount in contemporary usage may suggest support for Israeli control of the location. The old city was included to the UNESCO World Heritage List in 1981 after Jordan submitted it in 1980-82. It was included on the list of World Heritage in Danger in 1982. 84. On October 26, 2016, UNESCO adopted the Occupied Palestine Resolution, which criticized Israel for its ongoing refusal to let the body's experts access Jerusalem's holy sites to determine their conservation status and denounced its increasing aggression and illegal measures against the WACF. It also demanded that Israel respect the historical status quo and called for the restoration of Muslim access. The statement refers to the holy hilltop site in Jerusalem's old city only by its Muslim name, Al-Haram Al-Sharif, but acknowledging the importance of the old city of Jerusalem and its walls for the three monotheistic religions. In response, Israel criticized the UNESCO resolution, claiming that by excluding the terms Temple Mount or Har Habayit, it denied Jewish connection to the location. Israel cut off all communication with UNESCO. Israel and the U.S. announced their withdrawal from UNESCO in October 2017 due to anti-Israel prejudice. UNESCO unanimously approved a resolution on April 6, 2022, that reiterated all 21 prior resolutions pertaining to Jerusalem. The Temple Mount is regarded as being the most sacred place in Judaism. Jewish tradition holds that the Temple Mount is the location of both temples. According to Jewish tradition, a number of significant biblical occurrences, such as the binding of Isaac, Jacob's dream, and Isaac and Rebekah's supplication, took place on the Temple Mount. The foundation stone, according to the Talmud, is the place where the universe originated and grew into its present shape. According to Orthodox Jewish tradition, when the Messiah arrives, this is where the third and last temple will be erected. Jews face the Temple Mount when they bow during prayer. Jewish perspectives on visiting the site vary. Due to the Mount's high sacredness, many Jews will not enter the area where the Holy of Holies formerly existed accidentally because, according to rabbinical law, there is still a remnant of the Holy Presence there. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.